90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days star Faith Gafak Chalot got everyone's attention this year after her season 7 debut, and here's everything to know about her from her age to her job. Faith stars in the 90 Day Fiancé spin-off with Lauren Allen from Las Vegas. Lauren, who works as a drag queen assistant, couldn't commit to one partner yet, downloaded two Filipino dating apps, and met ladyboy Faith on one of them. Faith and Lauren's instant connection had Lauren convinced that Faith was all he wanted in a partner Lauren flew to the Philippines to see Faith in person. However, Lauren had a lot of things he was hiding from Faith such as his finances and his desire for an open relationship. He was confident that Faith would sooner or later come around and agree to his terms. What Lauren did not expect was for him to get gonorrhea from spending Halloween 2023 with a friend. Faith couldn't get over Lauren's infidelity, but gave him a chance to prove himself by putting him in the friend zone in the latest episode Faith is 30 years old. While most couples on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days such as Tiger Lily Taylor and Adnan Abdil Fatah and Brian Muniz and Ingrid Resend have large age gaps, Faith is just three years younger than Lauren. Lauren's age has been disputed because of his looks, but he is 33 years old. Faith has lived in the Philippines all her life. She grew up in a city called Bebe, but eventually moved to Manila, where she now works. Faith admitted she had never been in a relationship. Lauren is Faith's first boyfriend. Lauren and Faith had said their I love yous the day they started chatting on the dating app. Lauren had been married previously at 21 years old, but Faith had no experience in dating and romance. Lauren knew he wanted to be with a trans woman since he was eight or nine. Faith did not talk a lot about her childhood apart from telling fans she was born male at birth. Faith's birth name was Rodney, but things changed when Faith became a teenager. Faith hasn't been able to change her gender yet because of strict laws in the Philippines. She's also not undergone any surgeries for her transition from male to female. Faith doesn't take any hormones either. It's why Faith calls herself a ladyboy, because according to her, they look like girls but haven't been operated on. Faith knows about the discrimination someone like her would face at the workplace. However, Faith loves working at a hotel. She likes having a stable job and getting to live there for free of heart from being able to send money to her family Faith is the officer in charge of the housekeeping department in the Bay Area in Manila. Faith's job involves tracking all the rooms. She also has to manage event coordination, maintenance, and some work in the kitchen. When she's not working at the hotel, Faith moonlights as a magician, a makeup artist, and a puppeteer. With her 90-day fiancé, before the 90 Days Season 7 debut, Faith is also a reality TV celeb and on her way to growing her followers to become a social media influencer. Faith is already calling herself a digital creator on Instagram. She seems to have been active for quite some time on Instagram before her debut. However, Faith has 386 posts in total, with 2973 plus followers. Meanwhile, Faith has more than 14.1 followers on TikTok. In her bio, Faith notes she is a host, dancing magician, puppeteer, and hotelier. Faith has been posting regular updates about her life for her growing fan base. She's making her posts motivational while not forgetting fans to thank them for their support. Lauren has betrayed Faith on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days in every way possible. He lied to her about where he lives, his past marriage, his intention to move to the Philippines, his cheating scandals, and his STD. Lauren's tragic love story reminded fans of Rose Vega, who was also treated unfairly by her boyfriend Big Ed Brown. Fans expect Faith to walk away from the relationship like Rose did, and she'll likely do it. Regardless, the whole community is currently supporting Faith, as they think she'll go places.